Okay, we are starting now. All right. So once again, let me let me uh, say the the uh, the problem again. Calculate the energy of a photon of electromagnetic radiation with the frequency of 5.2 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So you're given a frequency. Remember that this represents frequency. This is new, okay. and the frequency was 5.2 times 10 to the 14th hertz. You are asked, what is the energy? And guess what? You have enough information here. We're going to use our new equation we just learned. E is equal to H times frequency. And you will notice that right, this is the one we just learned right here. E is equal to H times frequency. And then you're given H Planck's constant. So you plug that in. All you're going to do is take the frequency you just got, plug it in here, and multiply that by Planck's constant. Our E is going to be equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. Okay. Remember that that's Planck's constant. And then you multiply it by your frequency here, 5.2 times 10 to the 14th. And remember that whenever I put a frequency into an equation, I'm going to not put it as hertz, but one, uh, one per second, or per second. Not one per second, but per second. All right, so that number is the one that goes in here. So all I do is multiply these two things together. Let's go ahead and do the multiplication. 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. Multiply by 5.2 times 10 to the 14th. And I get 3.45 times 10 to the minus 19th. All right. 3.45 times 10 to the minus 19th what? Joules, yeah, because I've got seconds here, I got one over seconds here, seconds in the denominator here, so they cancel, and it just leaves me with the joules. And remember that I mentioned to you guys that I wanted you to look up joules in your vocab and feel comfortable with the fact that th these are the units for energy. So that's how much energy there is in one photon of this. Uh, electromagnetic radiation, or we can call it light, with that frequency. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? Kay. Those two numbers, multiply them together. Any questions on that one? Question? You good? All right, so let's go on to the next one. Number two. Number two is a little longer. But uh, let's go ahead and get back. It says calculate the energy of a photon of e oh, I'm sorry. Calculate the energy of a photon of EM radiation with a wavelength of 560 uh, nanometers. So we are given a wavelength of 560 nanometers. And we are asked for energy. So if you look at the equations that we've got, and you'll be able to do this with these equations, we're given a wavelength, and we're asked for energy. There's no equation, none of these, the, neither of these two equations have both wavelength and energy in there, right? This equation has the energy, we want to find the energy, but in order to find the energy, you need the frequency, not the wavelength. But we did have this equation where if you know the wavelength, you can figure out the frequency. So notice that they both have frequency in them. Frequency is the one thing that connects these two, um, these two equations together. So what we can do is we can plug in our, frequen our, our wavelength here, solve for our frequency. Then once we have the frequency, we can plug it into this equation. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. One other thing to note is that you'll notice that we're given our wavelengths in 560 nanometers. This is not uncommon because that's 
typical size of a um, uh, of of a light uh, wave. Um, problem is you can't put 560 nanometers into the equation. They have to be in meters. Right? When you have wavelength in these equations, you have to have them in meters. So we, first we have to convert our nanometers to meters. So we're going to start off by converting 560 nanometers to meters. Anybody remember what nano means? One billionth, right? Good. Nano means one billionth. Remember, it's one of those prefixes, those uh, uh, metric prefixes. So there actually is one billion nanometers in a meter. So we're going to go ahead and convert that. I'll put as one times 10 to the ninth. That's one billion nanometers in the bottom. So the nanometers can cancel the one meter on top. Remember I said that we're going to be converting stuff till doomsday? All right, so let's convert it. 560 divided by 1 times 10 to the 9th is going to give us 5.6 times 10 to the minus 7. And this is the number that you put into your equation for a wavelength. All right, so this number, not that number. Otherwise, you'll be off by a billion. All right. Oh, I was off by a little bit. How much? By a billion. All right, so it has to be in meters. Now that we have it, uh, our, our, um, our, our uh, wavelength in meters, we can go ahead and use our other equation. C is equal to frequency times wavelength. And I'm going to do like I did yesterday. At this point, I'm solving for frequency. Right. So that's what I'm looking for. Go ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the letters first. So I don't have to put like this number in several times. I want to solve for wavelength, uh, I'm sorry, for frequency. And I want the frequency uh, variable, the nu, to be by itself. So we're multiplying it by lambda right now in this equation. So let's divide it by lambda. When you divide it by lambda to both sides. Now, the lambdas cancel on this side. And what we have is that your frequency is going to be equal to C over lambda. So this is what your frequency will be here. Speed of light over your wavelength. So let's plug those in. We know that the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Okay. How do I know that? Once again, it's a constant. It's always the same. I will give it to you on a test divided by our wavelength, which is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. All right. So now if I take 3 times 10 to the eighth, divided by 5.6 times 10 to the negative seventh, I'm going to end up with 5.36 times 10 to the 14th. 5.36 times 10 to the 14th. And you'll notice that our units, meters, cancel out. It leaves us with 1 over second, which is frequency units per second. OK? Any questions so far? All right, so that's our frequency. We're not done yet, though. Remember what we're looking for? We're looking for energy. And we have this other equation. Energy is H times frequency. And here's our H. So just like we did in, in the first question, all we have to do is take our frequency and multiply it. So let's do that. Energy equals to Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joules times seconds. That's your h, and then your frequency, 5.36 times 10 to the 14th per second. And, uh, let's see. So that's <coughs> 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th multiplied by 5.36 times 10 to the 14th. And that gives you. 3.55 times 10 to the minus 9. And that 